Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be something pretty different to the usual SC Button videos and that is because something insanely exciting is happening. So today I am going to the Burberry show. It's London Fashion Week and I am so, so, so excited. So I'm going to insert some clips from yesterday when I headed to the, headed to the headquarters? When I headed to the headquarters to check out the makeup. So roll it. Good morning. It is 10 to 8 on a Sunday and I'm like a little bit scattered this morning because I am heading to the Burberry headquarters, uh, which is crazy. It's really exciting. So I mentioned in my last video that I was going to see a preview of Burberry's Spring Summer 15 beauty line and that is where I'm heading right now. I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning so I'm just trying to find some food to feed my face. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the car to get here to drive me to Burberry. This is like the royal treatment. It's crazy. So I'm gonna try to eat these blueberries and I will, uh, I will, uh, oh here comes Reggie. I will let you know when I get to Burberry. Crazy. Okay, so I just got to Burberry. I wanted to show you the building if you've never been. I actually came here last week and I was like, <laughs> I just thought it was so cool. But anyway, here's the building. Burberry. It's in like this massive, massive building. And then uh, that's the rest of the situation. It's Sunday morning, so there's not too many people around. It, uh, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go in and see what the sitch is. When I arrived at Burberry, there was a little presentation and then Wendy Rowe was introduced to the crowd and I love Wendy Rowe. I tried not to be too like overly fangirl. She's so down to earth and awesome and just like a badass basically. So I was pretty excited to be there with her. I love to get insider information. I just find the whole world fascinating. Like how do you even begin to plan a fashion show like this? Let's be real here. I like makeup, but Ain't nobody got time for a really complicated smoky eye every day. And when she started doing the makeup and was explaining how simple the whole look was, I was like, yes, this is something I can actually do. And I'm actually sporting the look right now. So Wendy actually demonstrated the makeup on a gorgeous model named Flora. Oh my, oh my God. Flora is one of the most gorgeous people I've ever seen in real life. It was actually insane to look at her, so anyway. She was there and the makeup looked fantastic on her and then Wendy actually put me in the makeup seat and did some makeup on me which is just like I'm just gonna tick that off my checklist of things to do before I die. Have my makeup done by Wendy Rowe, just another day at the office, you know? I was like, ooh, try not to be weird, but you know, I was. So I'm gonna cut the rambling and get into the makeup tutorial. Like I mentioned, it's super, super easy. Let's do this. So let's remember that it's spring, summer 15. I know it's autumn now. But the fashion people, they're thinking ahead apparently, way too far ahead for my liking anyway. But we're gonna start with the base. So as you can probably tell, my skin is super dewy and just like, oh, I just love it. When Wendy was doing my makeup, she was just like, she just made me look so great. And I'm so glad I was actually able to replicate the skin. I mean, it actually looks the same as when she did it yesterday, which is crazy. Um, so she actually used three products on me and she said that the whole point of Burberry base is that you can kind of mix them together. So with this makeup, you can see it's a really dark lip, right? And she didn't want it to look too classic. She didn't want it to necessarily look like, you know, uh, what am I saying right now? <laughs> I think especially when you have fair skin like me, as soon as you put a red lip on, it's like 1930s glamour, you know? And this is supposed to be a really modern look and there are ways that she achieved that to make it look really modern. I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, dang, like I just really like it and I never would have put this together. I guess that's why she's the makeup artist and I am not. Um, so the first thing she did was added a bit of this Burberry Fresh Glow Golden Radiance. But she said the idea of making this modern was to have sort of a honey kiss glow to the skin. So you have honey skin with a red lip. And I was going with it, but when she actually showed me, I was like, wow, I can see how that really does look modern. So I just took a little bit of this, rubbed it in between my hands, and really made sure I patted it into the skin so that it all was one with the face, you know? I don't want any weird streaks or anything like that. And it gives the most gorgeous, luminizing, lit from within, 
I've just been on vacation glow. Okay, so then the next thing she did was add this BB cream, and you know I love light bases. I hate wearing heavy foundations all over my face. I just feel weird. I don't like it. It's not me. So I just used this BB cream. I have the shade Fair, and it's a great shade match for me. It says Fresh Glow BB Cream, and this is quite luminous as well. So again, I just used my fingertips to apply this really easy, really quick. Boom, done. And as you could probably see in my skin, I have a few blemish zones, you know, don't we all? Well, not everybody, that model definitely didn't. But I do, and I get a lot of redness. So Wendy suggested using a foundation just on the areas that I needed a little bit more coverage. So this foundation is in porcelain, it's the Fresh Glow Foundation. Next thing I did was use a concealer underneath my eyes. It's one of these really cool pen concealers. You press this button here, and then it's got this little paintbrush action. This is the Burberry Sheer Concealer, and I've got the shade 02, so I just put a little bit of that underneath my eyes, dab, 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 and you are done. I mentioned that I don't know how to really do a smoky eye. And even if I did know how, I know I wouldn't do it because I'm very lazy with makeup. So for this look, Wendy actually used a blush. This is their Earthy Blush. And of course, like the packaging is just like out of this world. I mean, like seriously, seriously, and it's magnetic, just there you go, magnetic. So although this is a blush, she said that it's really great to use as an eyeshadow. So I just dipped the brush into the blush and I just pack that onto the eyelid. This is honestly foolproof, and it makes such a difference. So it still looks natural, but it's a little bit better, and it just gives definition. So anyway, once you pack that on, you can see Wendy called it a tawny hue. You have this nice darkness there, but it's not too dark, it's not too light. It's just everything. Eyebrows. I am an eyebrow lover. I'm trying to grow my eyebrows out every single day. I look at them and I'm just like, would you grow, please? Um, so Burberry is releasing this new eyebrow pencil. Let's see what it's called. It's their Effortless Eyebrow Definer. And what's cool about this is it's a pencil, but it's kind of like a gel texture. So Wendy was saying one of her biggest pet peeves is when eyebrows look really blocky. And you have to be able to kind of brush it on and make it look like an actual eyebrow. So this is really great for that, and I just tried it this morning, and as you can see, I'm really loving those eyebrows. So I did them a little bit thicker than I normally would, so I went a little bit outside of the natural shape, but I think it looks great. I really like it. And since there's no mascara in this look, crazy, I know, um, I think you need a little bit of a stronger brow. So the real kicker for me from this whole experience was when Wendy said she wasn't using mascara because she wanted to keep this look really modern, and I actually said, are you telling me I need to ditch mascara to be modern? Like, are you telling me, say goodbye to your mascara because I love big lashes? She actually mentioned that this is a really effortless way to wear a dark red lipstick. And honestly, now that I have it on, I wouldn't feel weird about going to the grocery store in this makeup. Whereas I think if I put on like a really bright red and I had liner and mascara, I'd feel really done up. But this is just like, this isn't I woke up like this, but this is like I woke up like this and put a little effort in, I'm good to go kind of thing. So that's what she said about the mascara. Now, if you're feeling a little weird about that, I did put a little mascara on just to show you what the difference is, but I didn't like do the wiggle thing. I just put a little tiny bit on just to give a slight bit of, you know, because my lashes are clear. They're not clear, but they're blonde and you really can't see them. So I think a little tiny bit, but I think the point is don't pack on the mascara. So. Yeah, that's that. Obviously, the focal point of this is the kisser. You know, like, just look at these lips. It's insane. So this is the Burberry lipstick in the shade Ruby. And just... Uh, I'm just gonna raise it back up to heaven because that's where you came from, isn't it? I think it's really interesting that you don't always have to go for lipstick colors that you'd think are traditionally spring, like a bright pink or something like that. This looks really cool and it's like a little more edgy and I think that's kind of why I like it. So anyway, I just took a makeup brush and applied it all over my lips in a really thin layer. And once I kind of got the shape going, I added it straight from the bullet, as they say, just to really pack on that color. Now, Wendy said that you could also mattify this, so take a tissue and some translucent powder on top just to make the lips you know, more matte and make it last a little bit longer, but I'm sticking with the glossy for today, I think. So this is the final Burberry Spring Summer 15 makeup look. I think it's so neat that it mixes two different elements. It mixes a red lip with the dewy skin, and I just think it is really, really modern. So yay, Wendy, you are a pro. You know that. I don't need to tell you that. So now I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I mean, I have options, but now it's the time where I'm actually gonna try to throw something together, so wish me luck with that. 
And oh, one other thing, they have these nail polishes that I have, I don't know if I have time to paint my nails, but if I do, I'm gonna paint my nails with one of these colors. So they have these two little nail polish kits like this. And the really cool thing is that you can buy these straight off the runway. So it's gonna be through Twitter. And it's got three little shades per package there. And I think they're gorgeous. The actual packaging of the nail polish is amazing. I don't know which one to go for. Do I go bright or do I go subtle? That is the question. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you those two. So I'm gonna wrap this part of the video up now. The next time you see me, I'll be going to the fashion show. And you might actually come backstage with me too. So let's roll. Okay, I have arrived at the fashion show and we're a little bit early. Uh, that's because I actually get to go backstage. I don't get to go in for another few minutes and I'm actually trying to locate Anna from Viviana Does Makeup. So I don't know where she is. Um, yeah, we should be going in soon and I will show you what it's like. Well, there's like this park. There was a really cute dog, but it's gone now. Uh, but yeah, these are my surroundings. Okay, so we found Anna. Yay! Yay! And we're both really excited to go back. Anna's looking fierce right now. So are you! I'm feeling the threat. No, really nice. <laughs> um, I haven't mentioned this yet, but Anna is also doing a similar video. So you did a version of your Burberry makeup. Does it look yes. like mine? Yes. Is it slightly different? Slightly different. No mascara? Yeah, no, a little little bit of mascara. Oh, see, I had not. I didn't know. Okay, so maybe, yeah, go check out Anna's video as well. actually insane to see all of this organized chaos which will eventually turn into what is promised to be a gorgeous show okay I'm in and there's lots of fashionable people out there and I guess that's called the quote-unquote press pit so yeah I think I'm gonna go in there quickly apparently I'm in the Burberry fashion show tent this is what is life right now and here is a sneak peek of it a sneak peek a sneak peek before it all starts Wow so I think it's like a garden theme that's my understanding anyway. I am just so excited to see the show. I wonder what music they'll be playing. That's always interesting. So we're just waiting to go in. It hasn't quite started yet, but it is actually insane to see like actual famous people, like proper famous people walk in and then the photos just start going. So yeah, it's really, really crazy. It's starting soon and we've got a little swarm of people around Kara and is Kate there too? Is Kate there as well? Oh my god, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Just because I'm a big time stalker, I'm just gonna zoom right in on Kara and Kate. Um, just Kara and Kate, you know, just an everyday move, move, move guy with the hat. <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. Look at these two. Okay, I'm done. When from the Burberry show and it was absolutely amazing. So it was James Bay who was performing and he did such a great job and it just went so well with the clothes. It was really feminine. Uh, it was just amazing. And it was just crazy to be able to sit across from Cara Delevingne and Kate Moss. Like what? Like insane. I wanna say a huge thank you to Burberry for inviting me along and letting me have the experience of a lifetime. It's been amazing. Ugh. Crazy. So I hope you liked this video and enjoyed coming along with me. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be, I'm just, I'm just gonna put my, my like, my fashion face on. Does this work? <laughs>